Don't forget to check all the links for all the things that I use in this crazy hobby of saltwater aquarium care. Links in the video description. Also don't forget to join our forum, rotatubrief.com, and our Facebook group. All these links are in the video description. I'm making coffee. We got some apple pie here, homemade with the percolator taking it old school. So what I'm gonna do to eradicate this green hair algae and it will work is I've done a lot of things. Phosphate RX, I've had the lights out. I only feed every other day. I removed my sand bed. I've removed the refugium, got rid of all traces of where phosphates would grow. They're not gathering in extra food because I don't feed extra food. I feed once every other day. Can you tell my voice is more laid back than normal? That's because I'm really pissed off at this hobby. I'm done with the green hair algae. I'm sick of it. I've been fighting it for four months and it gets worse. It looks like a beard. I've got green beards all over my fucking rock. Anyway, kids, hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna have a link to this as well. Everything I use, I put links in the video like I said. I got these gloves. Why? Because I'm never touching salt water again if I can ha help it. Um, it goes all the way up to the shoulder. Very comfortable. Never sticking my hand in there because that's how I got a bacterial staph infection. It was confirmed. And I had three weeks of hell of blisters and fever of 102 degrees average for the last week, every day straight. Severe chills. Felt like my back was going to break at times because I was shaking so hard I could never get warm. I slept in a long sleeve shirt, an undershirt, uh, a sweatshirt, and three or four blankets. I couldn't get warm. This is the food grade, and as you can see, it says 35% food grade. This is gonna kill that algae dead. All right, so I've turned off all the pumps. Look at this nasty green hair algae. It's green beard algae. Good news is the algae on the back is turning kind of white. And I think it's because it's dying off because slowly but surely I've been replacing my top off water with zero level TDS, which is good. But this nasty stuff on the rock is just terribly nasty. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blast it with 35% food grade hydrogen peroxide as stated. If you want to buy this stuff, there's a link in the video description and the top comment. Highly recommend it. People have had great success. I'm looking forward to doing this. When you put the hydrogen peroxide on this stuff, it's going to bubble up and it's going to be great satisfaction for me because it's going to die. I have a GFO reactor that I bought from Bulk Reef Supply. I'm going to be using GFO to remove phosphates from the water. I'm done with phosphates. This damn explosion. I mean, look at this. It looks like a toupee. Here's the glove. Fits like a glove. Move guys. Yeah, die. Well, it's reacting really fast. It's good. Gonna need more peroxide than I thought. Wow, that's so awesome. At first, I didn't think it was getting on the rock enough. I thought it was just getting into the water column for the most part, but it, it stays on the rock. That's great. It just looks like it just 
eating that stuff away. I love it. That is so awesome. It's just eating that stuff away. I love this stuff. It's just, it's just disintegrating it. Just, just going away. See ya, bitch. It's just dying. It's just dying. It's just melting away. Good. Wow, you know what? I was wondering why my, why my fingertips were burning. I've got some white powder. It's from the hydrogen peroxide. It's burning my skin and it's just a minor amount, so I gotta wash this off. So please be careful with this stuff, you guys. Alright guys, thanks for watching and subscribing and giving the video a like. If you do use this product, which I recommend and others have as well, you have to wear gloves or be very careful because if it gets on your skin, it will burn. Not terribly, but it's a little uncomfortable. Happy reefing, and I'll see you next time.